Hello all, really honored by your attendance at our talk that presents an acute way to predict the energy consumption and the real world driving conditions for smart cities. We are the authors of this contribution, Dr. Saida Almi and Prof. Kian Lita from National University of Singapore. Throughout the slides, we present our motivation and we formally define the problem of the energy consumption prediction. Then, we introduce our approach to accurately predict the energy consumption or real-life traffic data for different car types. Our experimental evaluation will be shown at the end. In fact, increasing attention has been paid to analyze and predict the energy consumption for many reasons. First, the state of air pollution is serious all over the world. Thus, analyzing and predicting vehicle energy consumption becomes a major concern. Second, the price of petrol has always been climbing upwards. Therefore, it is apparent that effective techniques for estimating energy consumption are essential. And finally, drivers of electric vehicles mu must make plans based on estimated energy consumption because they fear that their cars might run out of power and stop on the road. Therefore, the problem of energy consumption prediction has attracted many researchers' attention and been widely studied in intelligent transportation systems. But providing an accurate energy prediction is still very challenging because it is highly related to many factors. In our paper, we aim to predict the energy consumption in the near future related to each road segment in a, a large road network based on historical observations. For this end, we propose a deep neural network to provide a crude energy consumption prediction based on capturing contextual, spatial, and temporal patterns. To define our problem, we represent a city by a graph including a set of road segments R. And at one location, the energy consumption can be represented by the vector x, which is a sequence of energy consumption with n historical time slots. As the energy consumption at one location can be impacted by the traffic condition in nearby and faraway locations, we then design a three-dimensional tensor x for all road segments and all time slots, recording energy consumption data for each road segment in a road network over time. The features of vehicles are recorded also in a three-dimensional tensor Y representing the features V of vehicles for all road segments over n time slots. The vehicle features include vehicle type, vehicle weight, engine configuration, and engine displacement. Each energy consumption data in the tensor X is, is given by uh, a vehicle recorded in the tensor Y. Add to that, since the energy consumption is directly affected by the speed, we use also a three-dimensional tensor Z uh, recording the speed as for all road segments over n time slots. Our goal is Given the feature tensors X, Y, and Z, our goal is to predict the energy consumption for all the regions in the city in the next time slot T plus P, where P is the number of time slots to be predicted. This helps to make the decision about choosing the trip trajectory based not only on distance or travel time, but also on energy consumption. The following, the, uh, the architecture of the proposed model are described in details. Then we introduce the methodologies to extract several features such as vehicle, special speed, temporal, uh, weather and periodicity features. We finally propose how to view the outputs of all these patterns extraction to get the predicted energy consumption for all road segments for future time slots. The architecture of our model comprises four major components. A context extraction layer using an embedding layer to uh, extract the static vehicle features such as vehicle type, vehicle weight, engine configuration, and engine displacement. In our model, we deal with four vehicle types such as internal combustion engines vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles, 
and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. The embedding, uh, embedding layer is most commonly used for pure selection in the case of pre-trained world embedding, but it has much more to offer, especially dealing with categor uh, categorical data in neural networks. Uh, in our case, it is used as a dense layer to capture correlation between energy consumption and vehicle characteristics. As a second module for learning special patterns, we employ residual units, since it has very deep structure that can effectively capture the special traffic dynamics from nearby and distant uh, regions and its impact on energy consumption. And as an input residual layer, uh, take the energy consumption uh, matrix X, and we also feed the speed matrix Z into the model to help learning features from the strong correlation between traffic, speed, and energy consumption. After extracting the special patterns, we reshape these features to be suitable for time series learning and feed into a recurrent neural network, and more specifically a bidirectional LSTM as a deeper variant. Uh, of recurrent neural network for sequence modeling. Then we extract weather and periodicity features, feeding them into fully connected layers. And finally, by a tan H function, the outputs are then aggregated. For extracting vehicle features, we use one hot encoding method to convert the static categorical data to a low dimensional vector. One possible way to include the static vehicle data is to use a dense layer. However, each combination of road and time has one vehicle that records the energy consumption. An embedding layer efficiently uses lookup operation to match the energy data with static data. To extract special features, we consider the road network as a graph where nodes are the intersections between road segments. This representation allows to model the correlation between road segments and construct the adjacent road matrix A. We then use the residual layers to capture the special correlations between energy consumed in each road segment and uh, its adjacent road segment. The residual unit contains three combinations of lookup operation, convolution, and batch normalization. First, we feed the energy and speed matrices uh, X and Z into the residual block. A lookup layer is required to embed the road network topology. Uh, a stack of convolutions is used uh, in a single residual unit to understand connections between locations with a far distance. We attempt uh, batch normalization after convolution layer for faster training speed. Here we have more details about the lookup operation. In fact, given the energy consumption tensor X and the speed tensor Z, the topology of road network represented by the adjacent road matrix A is embedded. Uh, this operation aim, uh, aims to perform a lookup in the embedding matrix and return the embedding of A. An embedding matrix would look like a vector of energy consumption and speed uh, values of the adjacent roads in A from the matrices X and Z. Second component of the residual unit, we use a 3D convolution layer to extract the features of special matrix. On top of the K residual units, we get the output tensor. We then reshape the output in the way of time sequence to feed into a recurrent neural network and get the tensor X prime. In addition to the spatial and temporal factors, the traffic and speed may be affected by many complex factors such as weather conditions, holidays, and periodicity, and thus the energy consumption may have the same patterns. We incorporate in our model these attributes by using one hot encoding method to convert categorical data to a low uh, dimensional vector. Uh, formally, a fully connected layer is adopted to extract weather and periodicity information and get the predicted energy regarding these two features. We then merge the, uh, the outputs of the first two components with that of the weather and periodicity learning. Finally, with the time 
h uh, function we get the pre predicted value at the teeth time interval for prediction our model can be trained by minimizing mean squared error uh, between the predicted energy consumption matrix and the true energy consumption values in the following we present our experimental evaluation in our experiment, we use two datasets, the SPMG dataset that contains the, uh, contains the driving records of 3,000 drivers in Air Arbor, and the uh, VE dataset that provides the rate of fuel and energy consumption time series data of various personal cars operated in uh, Michigan, USA, over a year. Here is a geographic heat map for the traces of the extracted road network in Michigan. We represent the road network as a directed graph composed of road segments and nodes. Each node is an intersection of two road segments. We then calculate the average energy consumption for each link at a particular hour. Several prevailing algorithms are chosen for comparison with our proposed model. Some are dealing with time series data, some for special learning and some for both. We measure our method by root mean square error, mean absolute error and mean absolute percentage error. Here we show the evaluation of the most existing models dealing with different traffic prediction problems. We compare our model DeepFEC with the 10 other benchmarks using VED datasets. As shown in the table, our proposed method outper outperforms all other baselines in terms of accuracy and may be considered uh, as the best trade-off between accuracy and execution time. In addition, our ablation study proved that every component has a good impact for improving the accuracy. Michigan Road Network, uh, three driving environments are present in our datasets, such as urban roads, highways, and downtown. We show how the energy consumption prediction is affected by each of them. We can observe that prediction in urban road with error of 0039 is better than prediction in both highway and downtown with error uh, greater than 0.3. In addition, comparing to prediction in downtown area, prediction in both urban uh, environment and highway shows a constant behavior uh, during the first six days and slightly changed in the last day in the test set. However, there is no stability in the prediction behavior in downtown area. That's because uh, downtown area is always cloudy with heavy vehicle and uh, pedestrian uh, traffic. That's uh, the traffic patterns are not well captured. We also observe the effect of the predicted time interval P, where there is a slight decrease of our model error when varying P, which shows its capacity of dealing with long-term prediction. Especially, our model still has the best performance comparing to other models. Add to that, we measure the importance of each component in our model to evaluate the effect of the speed and the periodicity learnings. We observe that discarding the periodicity learning may reduce the accuracy achieved by our model, but not as much as the speed learning does, which confirms the strong correlation between the energy consumption and the speed features. Four vehicle types are present in our dataset to provide energy consumption rate in different locations in Michigan Road Network. It's important to analyze how our model deals with each type of vehicle. Comparing to the global error given by our model, ECE uh, vehicles show a similar error. Uh, that's mean 0 uh, 0.447. That's because in our dataset, more than uh, 240 vehicles for a total of 366 vehicles providing energy consumption rates are ECE vehicles. However, HEV and PHEV have errors between 0 0.1 uh, and 0 0.2, which are lower than the global model error, which shows the model capacity of capturing new vehicles patterns. The study on, on, uh, on electric vehicles shows 
that almost predicted values have errors greater than the global error. Taking into consideration the relative rarity of uh, these vehicles, the behavior of our prediction model is just, uh, justified. We evaluate our model using SPMD datasets. Evaluation shows similar results as using VED datasets. In this paper, we propose a novel deep learning based energy consumption prediction method that can extract vehicle and special uh, temporal features using an embedding layer, residual uh, layers, and fully connected layers to capture several traffic patterns. We evaluate our model on two road networks in USA, achieving performances which are significantly beyond 10 existing methods, confirming that our model is applicable to the energy conception prediction problem. Very few details are provided in this presentation to the limited time. Sorry for that and thank you uh, for your attention.